Lisa, Lisa, Paul and Baz. Good morning, Woo-hoo. Kim. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us here in Perth. We're absolutely thrilled. Oh, I wish I could be there in person. Oh. I don't know if I've ever been to Perth. And you know what? We would love to have oh, you yeah, here if you ever definitely. came. But Kim, welcome to Australia. You Thank were you. at your Quick Trim Purple Rain party in Melbourne last night with some of our listeners. How yes. did it go? How did you find the Australians? I Well, I love Australia. I've been here a couple times. Yeah. Everyone here just is so nice. I can't get over how nice everyone is. Did they party a bit hard, any of our our people at your quick trim party because they a can. A little bit. Did they? <laughs> a little bit, but it was fun. Everyone was having a good time. Look, at any point, were you having to say to them, now, come on, I've got breakfast radio commitments tomorrow morning. <laughs> We've got to calm down a little bit. No, it, it didn't get too wild. Look, Kim, can I just go girl on girl with you just for one moment? Uh well, sure. We've got that's that an means interesting a little something <laughs> different in the states. <laughs> oh, does it? Oh, I'm sorry. No, don't worry, Kim. It means the same thing. Here. Why would you use that turn of phrase? Because, Kim, we've got the Perth Fashion Festival happening here at the moment, right? So I've been doing the red carpet thing, which is very hard for me because uh-huh. I'm naturally clumsy. I often don't have me the too. right dress to wear, and you know, so many things go wrong. You do that many red carpets. Honestly, advice. How do you do it? You know, I think you have to really know your body and figure out what, you know, you want to wear, what makes you feel good. I mean, as long as you feel good, you're going to be confident. And I think that's the most important. But if you look in the mirror, see how you like to look, you can figure out your your signature pose. And do you know what my problem is? I've got no boobs. That's what it is. Yeah. I need bigger You can always fix that, though. That's true. I've been trying to get the station to pay for That's it. That's fixable. The <laughs> oh my gosh, you should do it on. I know. Do some kind of contest. Yes. Of I'm... people who could feel them if they do, if the station yes! donates. That's the greatest idea ever. I'm taking that to my boss because I really do need. Because you know, I find that dresses sit a little bit better when you've got yeah. the bigger boobs. Because I'm, you know, quite not small. Not too big though. No, I think no. small is actually cuter. Yeah. <sighs> I, really I like do. Kim's idea. I think that maybe people donate for the enhancement, and then if you are someone that contributed the cash, you get to have a feel. Oh, I love the Kim. Yes. You. If I get boobs, it's because of you. <laughs> <laughs> now, Kim, like, is there pressure from your stepdad, given that he was a former Olympian, to stay in shape? Like, does he sort of set the tone for the family of the sort of things you've got to do? You know what? He He's really into fitness and being healthy, but he will never work out again. He said he's worked out his whole life and trained so hard for like, I think 12 years, he would train like 15 hours a day. So he's really over it. He'll never work out ever again. So that's not, I think it's like hard to, if someone's not working out for them to tell you Mm. to work out, you can't really pay attention to that. But we hear all of his stories and how dedicated and focused he was. So it, that motivates us too. Now, Kim, I am like you as well in the fact that I have a dog who I miss very much whenever I go away, and I try and get my dad to put my dog on the phone mm-hmm. whenever I am away. <laughs> um, do you, I don't suppose you've done that with your little kitten because I've seen you post pictures of this crown oh, in Melbourne. You. Did they put a little bedside picture? Can you tell us about that? They did. There was. I walked in and they had a picture of Mercy right by my bed. And um, I just called Chloe on the way here and I was like, how's Mercy? What is she doing? And, you know, Mason is obsessed with her. I can't even tell you how having Mercy in his life has changed him. He looked at Courtney the other day and was like, mom, Mercy is my best friend. And and now with her and it's going to be really hard to take mercy home when we're done with Miami away from Mason. You know that you're going to have to claw an animal away from a child. Oh, yeah. And that, you know, know what, Kim, that's not going to be pretty. No. <laughs> that's that's be the sort cheated. of stuff that kids remember. Oh, they I'm will. going to be the devil yeah. if I have to, if, yeah. you know, if I take her home. I might have to share custody with Courtney. <laughs> now, Kim, I don't know if you're across this, but uh, you and I uh, suffer from a very similar problem in that uh, we have attractive mothers. 
It's hot. I got it. Right. Paul. And She's I cop a it. I cop it because of that. And I went and did the grocery shopping earlier in the week, Kim. And I had a look on the the stand of magazines. Yes, and on uh-uh. the front of one magazine is you looking gorgeous in a bikini. And then in the magazine uh, right next to your one is your mum looking gorgeous in a bikini. I was like, Mom, what are you doing? But seriously, <laughs> yeah. doesn't she have? an amazing body for having six kids. Yep. She does not yes. have one stretch mark. Not one. It's unbelievable. It's crazy. Has the pressure been of a hot, having a hot mum? Yes. <laughs> major, major pressure. I'm just like so worried because she literally has a better body than I do now <laughs> after <laughs> six kids. I'm like screwed. But hopefully I have good genes. Hopefully. Because Courtney doesn't have any stretch marks so I hope it. I hope it runs in the family. Okay, Kim, we have something to tell you, yes. and that is that you and I have something yeah. in common. Oh, we wow. share a best friend. A true story. Would you like to know? Because this yeah. happened on our show a little while ago. Hey, uh, Mel, before we let you go, look, I just want to put this whole Mel B, Lisa Fernandez, best friends thing to rest. <laughs> you know what? We are besties. Oh, yeah. no. Last time... <laughs> Mel B was here. I caught up with her at Rockpool, and she's one of my best friends. <laughs> we definitely have a lot in common. I saw her the other day. We went to dinner in Sydney when she was done. Um, actor. So it's it's always fun to meet up with friends, no matter where you are in the world. And no doubt, Kim, Mel would have spoken to you about <laughs> Lisa whilst you're on that boat, yeah? She told me everything about yeah. you, <laughs> and I I am afraid. <laughs> actually, to, to be honest, Kim, she's actually coming to this studio where Paul and I are in about... I think she's in Perth now. Yeah, yeah. She, she's coming in to meet us in about two hours' time. Yep. So here's the thing. You haven't seen each other for, what, two days? Mm-hmm. I'm sure you would love to say hello to her. So we've actually got Mel's voicemail message of... A kind, and we'd love you to leave her a message. Do you think you okay. could do that? And we'll play it back to her when she comes into our studio in about two hours. Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Hi, it's Mel B. Look, I can't get to the phone right now, but if you leave me a message, I'll get back to you when I really, really want. Okay, that's definitely not Mel, <laughs> but um, if she is my best, at least. Um, Mel, I love you. I had so much fun at dinner the other night. Um, I can't wait to catch up. And I love you. Oh, that's, no, that's gorgeous. Yeah. She's going to love that. Yeah, she has to, she, <laughs> and she's a gorgeous, she's a gorgeous uh, person and a husband. I mean, how, do, you, do you feel that you, it's hard to make really close friendships like that in Hollywood, Kim? Because she's just such a warm, beautiful person. She really is. I mean, we've known each other for years, yeah. and I've, I've actually known her husband for years. It's really good people, really, you know, honest, and it, it's it is hard to find, you know, real friends in the business. But most of my friends I grew up with, so I've had the same friends since you know kindergarten and, and grade school. So that makes it easy. I have the same circle, and there's very few that I let in after that. And Mel's definitely one of them. So then, if I said that we were good friends because I'm besties with Mel, oh, I mean, would God. that be okay? No, we no, then we all. Our best friends. Oh. Kim Kardashian, you do not Menage know what you started. <laughs> Menage a trois. There we go. I'm just ticking that off. We've had girl on girl and menage a trois. Oh, Kim, you've been fantastic. You know what? You it's- started it. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to have you here in Australia. All the best with Quick Trim. We can't wait to see it hit our stores. And, and you know, Thank we'd love you. to have you back. And if you get a chance to come to Perth, maybe even with Mel, we'd love to have you because it's a beautiful city. I would love to.